So if you all thought the James Lynch was going to be the only Lynch from Baylor this year, that would be intriguing on the Minnesota Fighting Vikings defense. You're wrong. You're absolutely wrong. Enter UDFA Blake Lynch, uh, also from the Baylor Bears, the, the linebacker, safety, cornerback, wide receiver, running back that we fell in love with. I mean, just a super do-it-all athlete. Uh, I think you can make an impact on the Vikings 2020 and beyond. So let's talk about him today. Uh, background, uh, 23 years old, uh, 6'3", 225, a retired senior, a former four-star recruit coming out of Gilmer, Texas. Uh, was high school teammates with Chris Boyd. Chemistry, got that going on. Uh, 2015 U.S. Army All-American coming out of high school. And that was a big get, uh, you know, four-star recruit uh, for Baylor. Uh, was one of the final Art Briles recruiting classes. You know, I uh, began 2016 uh, as a redshirt freshman wide receiver and running back, uh, put up uh, 34 receptions for 404 yards and three touchdowns. Then 2017, sophomore year, kicked to wide receiver and cornerback, as, as one wants to do, uh, breaking up six passes also while putting up 17 catches, 269 yards and a touchdown. 2018, he moved to linebacker and safety. Again, as one does, uh, and was a stud there. 2019, uh, made 14 starts, all outside linebacker. Finally, they, they got a position for him. 68 tackles, 8.5 tackles for loss, 2 picks, 2 passes broken up, forced the fumble, recovered one as well. 2019, all Big 12, honorable mention. So he started 32 total games for the Baylor Bears at 5 different positions, which is probably a record or something, but just speaks to his versatility, speaks to his crazy athleticism, and I think that's what the Vikings get. Uh, they just get this completely raw ball of athleticism and just getting after it. And I'm, I'm frankly pretty excited about it in terms of uh, excitement level for UDFAs pretty damn high on this one. And he absolutely does pop on film. Uh, Cause we were watching a lot of James Lynch uh, starting to get a feel for our guy who, you know, we absolutely love and adore to think he's going to be uh, quite a bit of a player uh, on the Vikings defensive line this year. But then yeah, watching number 93 playing some edge, you know, all of a sudden you see this outside linebacker number two, just flying all over the place, just screaming out of nowhere, making plays, and just this amazing dynamic athlete, very comfortable in coverage because you know, he was a cornerback in safety. And it's just, it's a guy that you want on your team. And subconsciously, maybe I knew it, maybe I didn't know it, maybe I didn't put two and two together, but Blake Lynch, let's go. So no Senior Bowl uh, invite, no Combine invite, uh, no Pro Day before the Rona. Uh, but, I mean, the kid has athleticism that pops off of the tape. I, I would guesstimate. That he probably runs in like the four or five uh, area, uh, would have done great in the agility drills and, and et cetera, which uh, is impressive given his size, you know, 6'3, 225, does have some decent length as well. And I, I'm really intrigued by this kid. Uh, I Also, I don't even know if he's going to be a traditional linebacker, if he's going to be a hybrid player, if he's just going to be a strictly a special teamer. But even if he's just the latter, I mean, that's still great value for a UDFA. And just in terms of linebackers, he certainly intrigues me more than Cameron Smith, uh, the second or fifth round pick uh, out of USC, as well as Ben Gedeon, uh, is heading to his final year coming out of Michigan. And I, I do think that Lynch will impress even in a truncated training camp at preseason. I, I think that he has a decent shot to make the 53. At, at minimum, he'll make the pra practice squad, which has been extended to uh, 12 spots. Actually, they could expand that out to 16. Uh, depending on what happens uh, due to the coronavirus stuff. But man. but he and Troy Dye, uh, the fourth-round pick, a linebacker out of Oregon, they are cut from a similar cloth. I mean, it's a lot like Kendrick's, where you have fast, you know, coverage-heavy linebackers, which are just get out there, right? A absolutely can stay on the field for three downs, and, and they're not a liability. So I, I do like that about uh, Blake Lynch coming in. And I, I wouldn't be shocked. Uh, at all, if he is a candidate to replace J. Ron Curse as that big nickel, uh, given his cornerback and safety experience. I, I think uh, Troy Dye will be in that mix. I think Brian Cole, the second on Mississippi State, will be in there as well. Maybe some Harrison Hand. Uh, maybe some Chris Boyd. Sure, but I mean, toss on some Baylor tape. You know, Go look at James Lynch and then just look for number two. Like he'll be zipping around the field, making plays, and he's just really, really good. So this year, watch for number 48. Yeah, it was, that was Zach Lyons' number back in the day. Yeah, I, once he makes the team, I, I think he'll probably change numbers. But look out for 48, Blake Lynch, the UDFA out of Baylor. Let's get it done. All right, so your thoughts. Blake Lynch, let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Pull some of the Venmo. Plus, give us a follow on social media as well. But until next time, Skull, production value.